Hi, I'm Kat. I'm Phyllis. I'm Phil. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. I saw 110 in the Shade, which is a new musical with, uh, well, it's not a new musical, but it's a musical with Audra McDonald uh, in the lead character role. It's a um, musical version of The Rainmaker. It's a story of, of a uh, farm area with having a drought, and they needed water the wrong, the worst way. And along comes this uh, Starbuck, uh, who's a bit of a con, and he's going to make rain for her hours. And then there's Lizzie, who lives with her father and two brothers. And she's, you know, the only girl in the house. So she does all the cooking and cleaning and everything. And she's different than all the other girls because she's smarter and she's not, she admits that she doesn't want to put herself like out there and change herself to get um, a guy that she likes. And she's thought of herself as playing. Along comes the rainmaker and he told her she was pretty and he was, flirtatious with her, and he brought her out of the shell. It was old-fashioned. It was set in the 30s, I think 1936, um, in Texas. And it, it was really simple, all the costumes. I don't even think there were any costume changes, really. I found it to be very uh, like a throwback to really old musical style. The numbers, you know, the cadence of all the numbers, you know, like everything felt very reminiscent of like uh, Oklahoma. Audra McDonald, she's just terrific. Beautiful voice, a good actor, uh, a just the personality just oozed out. Great. She's so good. I mean, I saw her um, in Ragtime a while ago. She was in the lead in Ragtime, and she knocked my, my socks off in that show. I remember going thinking, I bought the ticket because I was intrigued that it was a, a new musical and a new score. When I came out of there, I had never heard of her. I had that score in my car for a year. I like had heard a few things like about her when I heard I was going to the show, but I didn't know who she was until I saw it, and I loved her. She was so good. John Cullum was also uh, nice to see him. He plays the father of Lizzie. I remember him from uh, Shenandoah and uh, also from Northern Exposure on television for many years. And he was, you know, it was great to see him healthy and nice and, you know, out there doing his thing. Bobby Steggert, who played Jimmy, um, I really liked him and his girlfriend were so cute together. He added a lot to the show, I think, because he was funny, but, I mean, he had a good voice and everything, too. Steve Kazim played the part of the Rainmaker, uh, Starbuck. He's very good, very talented, and a very good voice. And he... he he fit like a con job, and uh, he was able to carry it well. I loved all of the voices. I thought they were all very strong. I loved the lyrics of the music, but I thought the acting was so strong that the music actually took away from it. And when they started singing, they, they would just sing one after another, and they all kind of, kind of sounded the same. And I would think like halfway through the song that I wasn't even listening anymore, and I was just so much more engaged when they were talking. So I think it actually would have been better without the music. The music was beautiful. In its old genre way, you know, it wasn't fantastic and, you know, spellbinding, but the sets were interesting. They connected and moved the play forward. It was good. You know, I mean, it was just very enjoyable. I would recommend it. I don't know if I would really recommend it to my friends. I think the audience was a lot older than me. I was probably one of the youngest in the show. Um, I really enjoyed it, but I would recommend it, I think, to more adults. It's a really nice show. You could take your family to see it. It plays well to, you know, all, or I think, you know, anybody's doubted themselves here or there. You know, I mean, you could, you could hook into it. If you like good acting and good singing and a good story, this is, this is the one. Yeah. 